hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is dara if this is your first time here thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for always supporting me guys so in today's video i've decided to give back in a big way yes a lot of people always ask me what do you use to film how do you achieve your you know video qualities audio and visual as well and you know what i've actually always answered sparsely i always answer here today but i know more people are asking these days and so i'm just going to go ahead to say i film mostly with my iphone 8 plus guys my iphone 8 plus is what i film with most of the time but occasionally i tend to film and vlog sometimes with um, a sony camera but for the majority of the parts 95 percent of my videos have been with my phone yes this phone that i am using right now and i'm going to give you guys all the tea and give you all the details of how I get to achieve filming quality videos. So guys, this video, like you must have guessed already with what I've said, is how to film like a pro using just your mobile phone, whether Android or iPhone you can film like a pro and also guys i would like to chip in here to say that a lot of people always tell me the reason they've not started out their content creation journey whether on youtube instagram tiktok or whatever is because they feel they need to get a camera or maybe one of the latest phones say maybe latest samsung phone i don't know what the latest is or the iphone 13 pro max which happens to be the latest in the apple series but i always tell them that guys seriously i don't think i'm changing my phone anytime soon except of course i see absolute need to do so i would actually rather go from using my iphone 8 right now and upgrade to a camera i'm just going to be giving you guys tips practical tips trust me and also very budget friendly you're mostly working with your phone just your phone alone actually but i'm going to chip in some few points here and there if you'd like to see or know how to film with your mobile phone like a pro then do keep on watching this video okay so guys going ahead i'm going to be dividing this video into two parts yes two parts the first part happens to be the pre-production aspect and the second part happens to be the post-production aspect so the pre-production definitely means what you have to do before you start filming during filming as well as you know after filming which is the post-production the first tip is to use your back camera instead of your front camera which is what I'm doing right now. I'm using my back camera instead of my front camera. Guys, I actually do use my front camera for some of my videos and this is probably because I'm in a hurry or I don't have time to do the setting up, which I'm going to explain further in this video. But using your back camera is actually way better than your front camera. I'm going to give examples as I proceed in this video, okay? So be rest assured that you're in good hands. I always tell people, even my friends, I'm going to give you an example. Shout out to you, Precious. Precious always ask me, Tara, how do you achieve like like the best quality on your videos um or she asked me what did you do to make your video so nice i'm going to give three reasons guys why i would advise to use your back camera always instead of your front camera and the first one is because the quality of your back camera is usually better than the front now on most phones I won't be able to say specifically, but on a general note, phones are really upgraded, trust me. The second one is so that you can get a blurry background trust me guys what the back camera does is that it kind of is like an auto focus thing it keeps you in focus because i'm the one sitting here then my background whatever is behind me goes a little bit relegated into the background hence the blurry effect so it might not be as much but it also gives you a cinematic look a cinematic appearance because the whole purpose of people always wanting a camera that has you know ability to blur the background or get lens to blur the background is because it kind of gives like a cinematic experience to the viewers you can actually achieve that as well using your mobile camera so that's the second reason then the third reason i'm going to advise you to always use your back camera instead of your front camera is so that you can look directly into your lens or your viewfinder the way i'm looking at you imagine if i was using my front camera to record right now although i have trained myself personally out of practice and use to always look at my camera even if i'm making use of my front camera however we are always human beings at the end of the day and just as much you can easily be tempted to look at a camera that is facing you if my front camera was what i was using right now i can just be tempted to be looking at myself meaning i'll be looking you know elsewhere instead of looking directly into the lens and imagine how it would be if i'm talking to you guys but i'm looking like this 
I'm talking to you guys, but I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the screen just to see how I look like. Instead of looking at you guys to talk, you're most likely going to click out of interest because you're like, who is this one? She's not even interested in talking to us. Trust me, guys, you don't want that in any of your videos, whether YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or what have you, okay? So moving on to the second tip I'm going to give you on how to film with your mobile phone on a pro level is to tweak your camera settings now before i started filming because um i've not actually done a sit down video in quite a while with my phone i actually you know went to check to make sure my camera settings are where they should be and i'm glad i did because guys um if you're using an iphone i think anywhere from an iphone 7 upwards i don't know about an iphone 6 but an iphone 7 upwards you have a 4k video setting so the highest video setting you have on your mobile camera Guys, please ignore any noise. Children's neighbors are making the noise as usual. They are kids. I can't stop them from playing. But we have to film this video. We have to get this going in. Whether or not we like it. Yes, whether or not you like it. As long as you want to stay in the content creation business, you have to always look for ways to up your quality, up your game, even if you don't have the money, which is essentially what this video is basically about. Okay? Yeah, I said basically well. <laughs> One of my friends actually called my attention to the fact that I say basically instead of basically. So I'm saying basically today. Shout out to you, Toby. And thank you for calling my attention to it. I'm more conscious than ever. So moving on, guys. I checked my camera settings and make sure my camera setting was at the highest so we have 4k by i think 24 um, frame per second yes and then we have 4k per 30 and we have 4k per 60 which happens to be the highest on an iphone and i just went to check and i realized that mine was actually on 30 and since i want to film with my back camera it's best i keep it on the highest level because i can't even see what i'm doing so i need to make sure that the video is as crisp and clear as possible so guys what you want to do is go to your settings whether you use an android or an iphone just go to your camera settings and make sure you put your recording capacity to the highest the least any phone in this day and time actually has is 1080p so if you don't have 4k on your phone please go for 1080p if you do have 1080p so a lot of people use these big phones these days and when you see the quality of their pictures and, and their videos you're like what phone did this person use until they show you and you're in a bit of shock especially if you're someone like myself who's a content creator and i'm like how did you do this you can record amazing videos with your phone i'm a testimony i've been doing this for well over one year and you guys testify a lot of you guys testify literally send me dms and messages to ask for what i use to record my videos so you have to ensure that you tweak your camera settings before you go ahead to record also picking the highest quality on your phone such as 4k especially helps video stability so there's no slowness in my video imagine if i'm talking and he's dragging seriously guys you're not going to enjoy watching that kind of a video but the way i'm speaking to you right now the way we're going right now is the best because it goes at the exact pace it should cinematic mode trust me guys that is what you want to give to your audience and your viewers every point in time so on to the third point and tip that i'm going to be giving you on how to film like a pro using just your mobile phone is to clean your lens now i shouldn't even be saying this this is something almost everybody knows now you see when people want to take pictures and they clean first it's just simple sense imagine if you've set your camera settings to the highest one possible and you're not even like clear just because your lens is dirty guys you don't want a dirty lens for whatever reason i'm going to give an example of me speaking with you with my lens looking dirty or not clean so just imagine if i'm speaking to you with my screen looking like this it looks summer seriously and imagine watching a 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes even a one minute video having the screen look like this the whole point of the video is for you to be able to see what i'm saying you know interact with me ujula rawa that's what yoruba says have an eye to eye conversation basically Imagine not being able to see me as I'm sharing all these tips. You will most definitely get bored on time and then clock out of this video. But then... So guys, we can see what that has done to the video quality right now. Cleaning your lens is almost all the magic you need. In fact, if you forget to put your camera to the best quality possible, if your lens is clean, 
it will still be better than what just happened some seconds ago with me having the best quality but my lens are not clean and i also like to advise that you can you know take time to clean your lens at least two times in the process of your video especially depending on the length of your video so if you happen to be filming for say about 30 minutes you want to make sure that you clean your lens you know just two times taking five seconds at two intervals each to clean your lens is not going to do any harm it's actually better to be safe than sorry that is a saying that is so true especially in this case cleaning your lens is going to save you from the headache and stress that will come post-production after you notice that you actually have like a dirty screen and there's nothing you can do to that post-production having the highest camera setting it's not going to do you any good if your lens is dirty on to the fourth tip that i'm going to be sharing with you in order to have like a pro looking video is to not lock your focus this essentially also translates to you know helping you have a blurry background effect not locking your focus keeps your face tracking so face tracking um system or software is something that comes with a lot of professional cameras meaning your face is being tracked or whatever it is that you keep in focus rather is being tracked and that is the effect that you also want your phone camera to give you when you lock yourself when you put yourself on focus when you lock the focus of your camera it basically means you and your background along with every other thing in frame that's every other thing showing within the frame of the camera is going to be in focus and you do not want that you want to be the one in focus and your background should have you know a little bit of blurry effect which is good we want cinematic quality which you know basically extends or translates to having a professional quality okay i'm going to throw in um, a quick tip in here to say that the way you can achieve this is to keep yourself as far away from your background as possible so if you guys can notice i'm actually two arms length away from my background but i'm one arms length close to my camera which essentially means i am in focus more than my background or any other thing behind me is i am the one in focus so i and anyone else that i have on the show want to be in focus not our background our background has to be a little bit blurry even though the blurriness or the blurry effects might not be like that of a professional camera it's still going to show that i am in focus and i am the one i want you to see and pay attention to but what you're seeing and what i'm seeing are what are most important in this video okay guys so i'm going to show an example again if i come close i'm sure the closer i am right now to my camera my background gets even more blurry and if i come closer again my background even gets more blurry and if i come closer i'm sure my lips are what i in focus right now my background is like way blurry than it was before so essentially doing that gives you the best possible quality you know people ask me oh that i love your new background how do you make it look like that this is one of the ways that i achieve that i make sure my background with my lights and everything i have going on in the background is a little bit blurry you know in the background just like the world suggests background i am in focus i am the one i need you to pay attention to also to add that this tip is important for content creators that are into the beauty industry so a beauty content creator that wants to show you know the lipstick that they've won in their video or the name of the brand that they also want you to get you know and they have it close as close to the camera as possible so you can pay attention to this or if they want to do say maybe an how i make my brows fluffy or you know <laughs> you get the drift so it's a very good tip for everyone but beauty influencers in the house please pay attention as well okay now moving on to the fifth point or tip that i'm going to share with you is your lightning so you want to make sure that you have good lightning i actually feel most of the time with daylight i started off filming this video with daylight i know the light must have changed but the whole focus of this video is the quality of the camera although the light plays a very in fact the light plays one of the most important parts because if you cannot be seen if you're in a dark environment we can't even see whether you have good quality or not but when you have good lightning i usually use daylight like i already said so you know you can try as much as possible to schedule your video filming around when you have daylight okay and you can also invest in a ring light i actually film with daylight and a ring light so when i'm filming in the night like in the middle of the night and i know there's no light again there's no daylight i film with 
a ring light and led light so it can bounce off light and give you know light on equal sides as much as possible but if i'm filming with daylight sometimes when it's already evening like it is right now you can still see it's not yet dark outside but it's pretty much getting dark so right now i'm using i have my windows and my balcony door open so i'm using the lights from the day that is left and i'm also making use of my ring light just so that you can see me in clear light as as much as possible okay and you want to ensure that you have good lightning for all of your videos good lightning brings out the best in your camera quality if i'm even recording with a professional camera except i up the iso of my camera settings and even when you up the iso there's a difference between an iso that has been upped and an iso that was kept in mid-level but filmed with enough light having good lightning while filming does a lot of trick and magic for you okay now like we've been doing for all the other points i'm going to throw in a bonus trick or tip in here to say that you want your background to be white white bounces of light okay so having a white background makes the room brighter in some sense because there's a difference between a room that is not white no matter the number of lights you have you know when you have light and the room is white when you put on your light you can't even see the effect it looks bright because white is a color that bounces off onto the other things in the room it makes other things look brighter and more beautiful that's why when you see influencers most times their rooms their houses are always painted white okay so if you cannot afford to have the whole of your room painted you can paint just the background that you want to use and even if you cannot do that there are also wallpapers or clothing materials i have a video that i made that i also did showing how you can take pictures by yourself at home i was staying with family at sardine and my room wasn't white so i made use of a cloth a clothing material white and i hooked it and you know made use of that as my wallpaper and i got that clothes less than you know three thousand naira i got two yards of that clothing material and i got hooks and pegs you know what you guys should just watch that video because it has some of the tea that you might need either for taking pictures by yourself diy pictures or also for filming at home youtube videos when you don't have a white background or when you don't have a pleasant background so to say so white essentially bounces off light to other things including yourself that's a bonus trick okay so guys the sixth and the final in this category that's the pre-production category is to invest in your sound so i am using a lapel mic that i got for about five thousand naira this is actually not the boya i have the boya as well but right now i'm making use of a lapel mic that i got of an instagram store you can't pinpoint where but if you want to know i'm going to source out for the exact person i got it from or someone similar with around the same price like i said also you can invest in a boya mic a boya lapel um lavelia microphone which cost about ten thousand naira right now in nigeria having a good audio quality does a lot of magic although most phones actually come with pretty good built-in microphone but then i'm going to quickly show you what it sounds like without my microphone and what it does sound like with my microphone so guys this is what it sounds like without my microphone and this is what it sounds like with my microphone like i said this is not an essential thing i've seen a lot of good youtubers here on youtube that don't use a microphone yet you know just essentially they they try to record when it's more quiet and all of that but for some of us that can't afford the luxury of re recording every single time when it's quiet and you know having a good audio quality is just as good as having good visual if you have good visuals and you don't have good audio there's a likelihood that nobody's going to listen to your video so imagine if i were to be talking now and this is how i'm talking you cannot hear anything so imagine if i don't have good audio and i'm just going on and on saying what i want to say to you guys if you guys can't even hear me what's the point anyway so yeah guys invest in good sound or ensure that your built-in microphone works just as good as possible and then you can now schedule your filming for the time when there's the least noise in your surroundings now moving on to the post-production aspect of this video post-production meaning editing uploading tweaking and any other thing you have to do after the video has been recorded and made 
so i'm going to be sharing two things under this category and the first one is that you use a high grade editing app or software so i currently make use of iMovie i edit sometimes with my phone guys and i make use of iMovie to edit i also make use of iMovie on my laptop i use a macbook i am yet to invest in final cut pro we all know it costs money and i'm not a monetized so i'm yet to invest in that but i use wondershare filmora as well as imovie on my macbook but on my phone for my youtube videos i essentially edit with imovie as well but i also inculcate other editing apps into imovie while i'm using my phone especially so it can give like more good quality if you want to learn how i do that please wait up until the end of this video to hear a little announcement from me having a good or high grade editing app to edit your video post-production essentially does all the good meaning what you have the editing app that doesn't reduce quality and also allows you to export the video that you have edited in nothing less than 1080p it's actually best if you export in 4k like imovie on my phone affords me the luxury to export the video i've edited in 4k however the one on the laptop I've not seen 4K yet, just 1080p, which is quite good as well. However, Wondershare Filmora allows to also export in 4K. So you want to ensure that you export your video in the best possible quality available. Imagine if you filmed good video, you've done all of the other things I've said, and your editing app messes up your video for you. That's just as good as your efforts have been wasted okay so make sure that you do your research and learn how to use the software that you think would be easier for you to use but also does not tamper with your video quality okay now on to the last point in the whole of this video and the second point under the post-production phase of making your videos as good and as professional as possible is to upload using Wi-Fi now i actually am guilty of this a bit because i don't do this all the time sometimes i find myself in situations where i edited with my phone and i don't have my laptop in close proximity i probably went out to do something and i have to upload so i just upload using my mobile data i mean it's going to upload and it's going to look good but i have noticed and i've also heard it from other youtubers that youtube tends to leave the video that you've uploaded say using just your phone your mobile data or not using wi-fi it tends to leave it on standard definition that's sd quality and what we want is hd quality meaning sd will probably leave it at say 720p or 1080p meanwhile you've exported in 4k so you want to ensure that you upload in 4k meaning upload with wi-fi so wi-fi ensures that after processing a standard definition format it also goes ahead to process the high definition format the second thing to note under this point is to go to your settings on your youtube app sign in to your youtube account or your youtube channel and go to settings then look for upload settings and ensure that you have it set at full quality 1080p is also good and i think the default setting that comes with youtube on most phones the youtube app as full quality in it okay but just to be sure and so that you don't waste your time you want to ensure that you have your upload quality on youtube you have it on full quality that way you're guaranteed that every other step that you've taken and that has been mentioned in this video is going to be covered by you and your viewers are definitely going to enjoy premium quality videos from you all right guys i've come to the end of this video and i promised a quick little announcement so i'm going to be having a mobile content creator class coming up very soon i do not know the date yet i tried to do this before but then i had a lot of other commitments and i noticed that a lot of other people that were interested as well had things to do because i have a lot of students in the university who were writing exams as a then so i decided to put a little hold on that so i'm bringing that back now and i'm going to be sharing even more imagine all of these things that i've shared in this video and then imagine hearing more because there's always secrets okay and this particular one you're going to have to pay a little bit for it yes you're going to be paying a sum of five thousand naira for the class i'm probably going to do a discount for like the first 10 people to register but i'm going to let all of that details out shortly i think i'm going to try to leave a flyer if it is available on the screen for you guys to see okay so yeah guys ensure to watch out for that follow me on instagram at vjdara 
so that you are aware and you're you know you're kept informed follow me on instagram and put on your post notification so that you're aware of when i come out with an official date announcement for the class like i did this video i'm going to share more videos but then there are some things that you might have to pay for because when you pay for it you know you appreciate the value more and you also make use of it i really hope that you guys enjoyed i'm sorry if there was a fluctuation in lightning like i said i started recording just this evening around past five and it's currently almost seven the lightning outside has almost completely gone but i have light surrounding me in my room and i also have my ring lights doing the job for me as well really appreciate you guys for all your support every single time it means the absolute world to me please let's get me to a thousand subscribers before the end of 2021 i want to enter 2022 having more than 1000 subscribers okay thank you so much guys for watching and i'm going to catch you all in my next one remain blessed remain sharp and you know be on your best possible quality Bye, guys.